Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the show. We're going to do a video here for you on a guy called Direct D, who also has a channel called I Don't Answer Questions. And that's going to be Mr. Christopher Dane Ruff from out there in Arizona. And he is uh, doing a video by another channel called Bully Back Audits, who is known as Joey Paul Perez. Now, I want to do this one on Direct D because when I watched it, I had to laugh. Now, he's titled his video, Thug Cop Criminalizes Consensual Encounter. And I'm going to show you in this video how bad marijuana is clouding up Direct D's uh, thought process because Christopher Ruff's thought process is out on the moon. Now, Christopher, who thinks he's a lawyer, but he lost his last four cases, he wants you to think that harassing a police officer in a private business establishment is a consensual encounter. Now, how whacked out of his mind can he be to think this? So, let's take a look at this video and break it down so you all will totally realize how crazy Direct D has become. So grab yourself some popcorn and get ready to board that crazy train of frauditing. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's go right into this video so we can laugh our asses off at Direct D. So what do you? What does that mean, tough guy? You see me in October? What are you threatening me now? No, I said I'll see you in court. You'll see me in court? Yeah. And what does and what does that mean? What are you gonna do? How about you leave me alone? Go away. No, I was here trying to get my go drink. Away. No, go I was away. trying to get my drink. Go away. I was trying to get my drink, you and you like wanted to run him out. Uh, yes. Service to him. You want yeah. a CD from here? Sure. All right, sir. You need to leave. Well, what about paying for my drink? Go, you put your drink your down. Your drink's on the house. This is my, my All right. cup. All right, go. All right, here we go. I'm leaving. Cup, stay right here. I'm leaving. Two, six, eight, have one to run. I'm That's leaving. That's not your, you're being detained. For what? Because you're being criminally trespassed. What's up, folks? So today, on my way home from filing some paperwork, I was watching a video from Bullyback Audits in Texas, Belton, Texas, when he was in a convenience store and allegedly a cop said, we'll see you in October or something along those lines. And he started to record. This obviously triggered the officer and the officer looked over at the gas station attendant employee, basically said, I want you to trespass him. He's bothering me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you just watched the same intro that I did. Where did that officer say, wants you to trespass him, he's bothering me? I don't remember hearing that. My second question is, is Dreg D, why are you editing your video so much? You've got like five chops in there where you, you edited something. Why? The employee just kind of went along with it and then the video you can see her making faces and he even escalates it to the point of detaining him to issue him a criminal trespass warning oh christopher 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 is the officer the one that is escalating this situation when all he wants to do is issue a criminal trespass order how is that escalating the situation? It sounds to me like your boy, maybe Bully Back Audits, is the one that's been escalating this whole encounter. Now, you can only detain someone if you have reasonable, articulable suspicion of criminal activity. That's something that a lot of cops don't get. Um, Christopher's out of his mind here. Um, again, I watched the same video beginning that you guys did and 
the you see, to ask for ID, you need reasonable, articulable suspicion. Or I pulled you over for a motor vehicle offense. Or I'm going to issue you some kind of citation. So therefore, you have to provide your ID. But a direct D makes it sound like there was nothing at all going on. But everybody else who watched the same video that I did, um, wasn't there a trespass occurring that the clerk wanted the guy to leave the store? So the officer told the guy to leave and then the guy wanted to play around a little bit and whatever and <laughs> like it always is you know once the handcuffs come out oh i was leaving i was leaving i was leaving well it's too late now so so now the officer has detained him um i i got a feeling they may know each other a little bit uh, since they talked about going to court together in october so but anyways um i'm just trying to figure out um why Direct D, the YouTube lawyer, doesn't think there's any reasonable articulable suspicion to ask for a driver's license here or for any kind of identification. See, when they detain you under the color of law without a crime being committed, that could be a violation of your rights under the Fourth Amendment. Just saying. Go subscribe and tell them that Direct D sent you. Did you see that, folks? Bully back audits, uh, Mr. Perez there has 8,900 subscribers. I'd like to get up to 8,900 subscribers. Not that I would make any money off of it, but it'd just be interesting that 8,900 people would want to hear what I have to say and try and make them understand this frauding stuff is um, not as, as real as it you know is. Uh, they like to think that it is. But I have gone up 120 subscribers. Um, I did a short video on uh, citizens going after fraudsters because they were fed up with them. Uh, 5,400 hits on that video in 24 hours, which astonished me. I don't have 5,400 subscribers. So where are all these people coming from? I, I, I'm you know, kind of sad that they didn't, you know, hit the subscribe button because it would have, uh, you know, that would have, <laughs> that would have made me have a lot of sub subscribers in uh, one shot. So, but anyways, this is Bully Back Audits. He's the one that's doing the audit. Let's see how he does. See me in October. Court date. Hey, Mog, I don't have enough. What does that mean? So what do you, what does that mean, tough guy? You see me in October, what are you threatening me now? No, I said I'll see you in court. You'll see me in court? Yeah. And what, is, and what does that mean? What are you going to do? How about you leave me alone? Go away. No, I was here trying to get my Go drink. Away. No, Go I was away. trying to get my drink. Go away. I was trying to get my drink you and you like wouldn't run him out. Uh, yes. Service to him. You want yeah. to see from here? Sure. All right, sir. You need to leave. Well, what about paying for my drink? Go, you put your drink your down. All right, again, I'm going to ask you folks, how is that encounter right there consensual? That is a frauditor who is harassing a police officer and following him around in a private establishment, and he's harassing him. How is that a consensual encounter? If you think it is, put your comment in the section down below so I can read it later on. In the house. This is my, my cup. All right, go. So I'm getting CT because of you. So that's how it works. You you solicited you so you solicited I asked her if she you, you solicited I, you're the ones that said something to All me. Right. I'll see you in October. All right, here we go. I'm leaving. No, stay right here. I'm leaving. Two sixteen. I have one to run. I'm that's leaving. Not, you're you're being detained for what? Because you're being criminally trespassed. All right. Well, that doesn't mean that I did anything wrong. You're the ones that started. I got the whole videotape right here. Good deal. Yeah. It'll be a Joey Perez. He's gonna be criminally trespassed on six fourteen Holland Road. Violate my rights. No, you stopping me. No, you're the one. Okay, I need to stop right there. And I actually, I have, I waited until I had two things before I interrupted the video. And right off the bat, number one, I have Joey complains that the officer solicited a trespass from the clerk. It is not, I repeat, it is not a crime or a policy violation in any state 
or any agency I have ever talked to, you know, trained with, had knowledge of, or anything for an officer to, to ask, ask a complainant what they want to do. That's all that officer does when he quote-unquote solicits a trespass. It's very common for an officer to ask a complainant, what do you want me to do with the guy? It, you know, do you want me to get rid of him? Do you want me to, you know, trespass him so that he goes away? That's a very common question. It's, you, you can't you can't claim that that's a conspiracy or, it, you know, it's against the rules to solicit a trespass. And then number two, all of a sudden, Joey starts complaining once they get to the door, you're violating my rights. So how is he violating your rights, Joey? I mean, so far, uh, we've watched the video. So, uh, you know, maybe Direct D will chime in here and he can tell us what the hell's going on. You know, it's just Joey the Frauditor is harassing this officer. You can see that in the video. Uh, this has nothing to do with videotaping or, or photography. It has to do with Joey harassing the officer. You know, and, and they're in a private business establishment. So if, you know, the clerk wants to trespass you, then there's nothing you can do, Joey. So it's case closed, buddy. You know, I just hope, you know, Joey or Christopher actually see this video or, you know, so that way one or both of them can, uh, you know, make a comment down in the comment section and tell me how this is a violation of anybody's constitutional rights. You want to, you're the one, no, you, you to I want to be a jerk. You're the one that yeah. said I'll see you in October. Yeah, after you were you, a jerk. You know, you're the one that said I'll see you in October. You're after the one you that said that. Jerk. That's okay. Dude, you don't even know my, how would you even know my court case? Yeah. How would because you even know about it? it? Yeah. yeah, but there hasn't even been set yet. So what, yeah, you're, you're trying to do, you, what you're trying to do yes, is yes. intimidate me. Nope. You're trying to intimidate nope. me. Yeah, they it's all going on YouTube. That's fine. Go ahead. It's all going on YouTube because I'm going to sign a complaint against you because that's what you're trying to do. Go ahead. Yeah, because it doesn't go nowhere when I fill a complaint, does it? Go ahead. Yeah, my complaints doesn't go anywhere, does it? Go ahead, sir. As long as they were valid, they would go somewhere. What are you talking about, man? I was in a damn corner store, and you're talking well, about in October. I'll see you in October. Yeah. So what does that matter? So how come I can't go? How come I not? What's your date of birth? Well, uh, aren't you having? Uh, let me What's see. What's your date of birth? No, listen What's to your me. Date of birth? Listen to me. No. No, I, no I, I want to speak to you, Lieutenant. I'm going to speak to you, Captain. Right now, but we're doing no, this no, first. No, 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 I'm hey, doing. What's your date of birth? Nope. Two sixteen center. Send the captain. Can you go ahead and tell Send me what captain. the date of birth is for Joey Perez? What's your date of birth? I want to speak to your sergeant. Your I want to speak birth? to your. I want to speak to your higher authority than you are. Can you just say that again. He's talking. He's talking. Oh, how dare I speak when a police officer violates my rights? And so, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Joey here has some issues that he needs to work on. And, you know, I seriously think he's got ODD or what they call oppositional defiance disorder. You might as well throw authority in there, you know, because he just, he doesn't like authority. He doesn't like authority telling him what to do. And then number two, Joey's like, well, you know, what's your dad or the officer's like, what's your DOB? What's your date of birth? And Joey's like, no, no, I'm not telling you. Joey. The officer is being nice to you now. He's not arresting you for giving, not giving your information like you're supposed to. And you want to call this guy a bad name or that, that he's a thug or whatever, but he's doing you a favor right now. I mean, he's, he's just trespassing you. He's not giving you a charge for not providing your information. You got to be nice to these guys, Joey. See, I was in the corner store, yeah. and he went. He wanted to tell me. To cuss me when I, walked I didn't cuss you. Yeah, I didn't. didn't. I have it on video, you That's idiot. Right. It didn't. Yeah. Nobody cussed you, you stupid yeah, moron. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. such a liar, dude. Okay. They have video here too. You want to pull that videotape yeah, on that? That's fine. Yeah, because you're a liar, y'all, bro. No. You're a liar. That's how come you got your job That's the way right. you got? Because you're a liar. Yeah, sure. You're a liar. Yes, you're a liar. Where's your body cam at? This right here. Turn it on. Turn it on, liar. Turn it on, liar. Sir is always recording. Yeah.
I don't know what your problem is with the public, man, and people knowing their rights. But for some reason, you hate people who have their uh, freedom of speech. Yeah. You hate the fact that I videotape. At no time did this officer say anything to him about videotaping or anything about freedom of speech. It was all about this guy, you know, Joey harassing the officer. You know, and then the the clerk of the store did down. She was going to trespass him for doing that. So. You know, Joey, yeah, you know, another one of those frauditors who thinks his rights are, you know, absolute, you know, it's, I can do whatever I want, but you can't. All right, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to speed through uh, the next part until Direct D talks again in case I got something to say about what he says. <laughs> we're going to call and compliment the store that trespassed bully back audits because we hate those stinking frauders. Hey, Jessica, is a manager available? There is not. Can I help you with anything? I'm just trying to leave a compliment for one of the managers. They helped me the other night. Uh, is there, oh. is there, when's a good time to call and be able to get in touch with them? Um, as far as I know, she's in in the morning, um, probably before 2 p.m. Before 2 p.m. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see right there how natural lying comes to a career criminal like Direct D? I mean, so what do you think, folks? Do you believe that sensationalized drama-induced video title that uh, Direct D did, you know, the thug cop criminalizes consensual encounter? Uh, so how many of you think this was a consensual encounter for the officer? Or do you think, like I do, it was harassment from a frauder that developed into a trespass warning? So, thank you all for coming and watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please hit the like button so I know you liked it. If you're not already subscribed, please do so and invite all of your friends and your family to join so that they can enjoy the great content here in the future. I've got three more videos I would like to get done this week if my work schedule will just cooperate with me. So until then, folks, y'all take care.